Okay, so I'm starting the video again. The base I'm putting in is uh, Lightning Protection, it's made by Ditech. Um, I made this little grounding strap for it. And it's going out to a pit tamper. It keeps popping this notifier module here every time there's a lightning storm. So I'm fixing to do that. I'm going to do a video of it so that you can see it. What I do is I strip it back and then we we'll use the string. And I cut off. Oh, and I just stripped. So I got an unprotected side, protected side. Protected side is going to be wired back to the module. Unprotected side is going to be hooked to these wires which go out to the device out there in the field. So we're trying to protect the module. Putting black to negative, red to positive. I'm using a little tweaker screwdriver. As you can see here. Can you see there or not? I bring it to a snug and then I twist it a little bit more. Then always tug your wires and see if they'll come loose. Okay? So that's on the protected side. 
be on the unprotected side. This, uh, this size wire, I'm going to use uh, the orange wire nuts. What size I'm going to use. I even them up first before I do that. That way, it'll bite onto both wires. Hold. I give it a good snug twist. You don't have to get crazy with it. So, get the wires right now. So I'm going the same side. Take my finger and bump it just to make sure it's the same height. Start down on it. And just to make sure, I always double check myself. I tug it. That's on the protected side. So we've got a new module here. Take a picture whenever you take something loose or take one wire loose and replace it and then put the do the next wire or if you got a picture you can go back and rewire it, you know. I used to back a long time ago, I used to think, well I can keep all this straight in my head. And after a few uh, mistakes that took several hours to fix, I quit doing that. Something like this is pretty simple, straightforward stuff. Anytime you're cutting these wires as well, if you wanted to cut them all so you could leave the color underneath the spades, cut them one at a time. It's the panel you hear beeping in the background. Saying lost SLC. What I'm doing here is addressing it. There's a 10 wheel and a 1 wheel. So 58 would be 10s to 5, 1s to 8. 58. Double check your positive and negative before you go land and stuff too. Same thing, snug. And as you can hear, the panel quit beeping on its own. Well, it's 
as I get this get this back on there. This has got one of those dollars on it, 411 UD AC, and that thing will beep, beep, beep until you hit it knowledge on it. Okay, so this is the part that you hook back in there. It'll only go one way. There's a divider. As you can see, there's a divider in there. This is I put that there. The panel just went normal. So now I'm taking my time here when I do this, okay? You don't want to rush and give yourself a ground fault after all the hard work that you just did. And as you can see here, twisting that little spade up in there. Tighten that down. It's going to tighten down around my ground strap. Because I put one of the little uh, circle loops on it so that way it keep a good ground. There we go. I really tighten that bottom one, but this top one I ain't so concerned about cranking it down. Get a little snug so it don't come free. Okay, so what I did is I took it out through the protection, then brought it back to the module. So pit goes on the unprotected side because I'm not worried about protecting the pit. Module and panel goes on the protected side because we really want to protect that panel. So that's how you wire in uh, protection into one of these little modules here for a pit a pit tamper. You know. So basically that's what the finished product looks like. Pretty easy. Have fun, be safe.